that Ducati just skips around underneath him, he's really hanging on. Fastest part of the circuit, almost 200 miles an hour before they break and go down into third gear for the left-hander. Kappa Rossi breaks hard now for the chicane. Rossi with that rear wheel of a Honda sliding all over the track. And Max Biaggi is quite happy in third place at the moment. Looks very comfortable. 18 laps to go of this Japanese Grand Prix. The opening round of the MotoGP World Championship. We thought it was going to be good. We have a faller. Somebody in the middle of the track. A bike also absolutely wrecked on the side of the track. We wait to see what happens. One would imagine for the rider is being moved. I think in the pit lane it seems as though there's a room going around that was Daijiro Kato, the Japanese rider who's won four times before here in 250cc. He's on the Telefonica Movistar Honda machine, and I think he was one of the riders involved in that crash. I'll confirm that for you if I can. Well, it looks like uh, there is the uh, situation of where the uh, crash was. I think it is Kato who's gone down. Jerry Cattle was one of those riders that you knew had something special. On a 250cc he was basically unstoppable around Suzuka, taking four wins between the years of 1997 and 2001. Not to mention that he also won two Suzuki 8R races in 2000 and 2002. In fact, between 1997 and 2002, a Japanese rider won on the round Suzuka in the 250cc class. This streak was ended in 2003 by Manuel Poggioli. Since 2003, MotoGP has never returned to Suzuka. A combination of safety grounds, riders not wanting to race the circuit, has led to the Japanese Grand Prix moving to Motegi, which, don't get me wrong, is a fantastic circuit and I think is one of the most underrated circuits that we actually have on the MotoGP calendar. But it's not the same as Suzuka. Even in other sports like Formula One, um, Suzuka has brought iconic moments, and you can even think back. The, no matter what age you are, you, you, you've you've seen a moment or a, an iconic race around Suzuka, whether it be MotoGP or F1. I think of Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost in 1989 um, with each other. I think of Valentino Rossi winning the first ever MotoGP race in 2002. I also think of Johnny Ray last year in the Suzuki at our race. On the last lap, the oil spill and, and him being brought down because of that. The drama that this circuit has is it's very unique and something that, that can't really be replicated anymore on, on the circuits that we see now. It, it doesn't have the the barriers, it doesn't have the short runoffs, the long twisty turns you know it it's a culmination and a sort of mixture of everything that makes a, a perfect race circuit and with the Suzuki 8R race still going ahead there it's brilliant to see you know, once a year the track being used for, for motorcycles I know it's used for, for Japanese um, super bike and Japanese super sport classes and stuff but it doesn't get the coverage on on our TV in the UK especially so to see the 8R race still happening around Suzuka, it's, it's something that personally I want to tick off um, my list. You know, to say I've been to that race. Um, It wouldn't bother me if it was, wasn't for the 8R race. It would be great to see an F1 race as well because I'm a big fan of that. But what ultimately this boils down to is that MotoGP lost a great character in Daijiro Kato. The safety grounds that were maybe improved after his death um, is something that ultimately it happens in, in motorbike racing and across motorsport. You know, deaths happen and the sport gets safer. It can never be 100% safe. But with Daji Ricardo passing away, it, it lost a, a great talent for Japanese. Um, side of MotoGP so 
there's not been anyone close to Dijericato's talent enter the MotoGP class since since his death. We we have had race winners, um, Makoto Tamada, podium finishers as Shinya Nakano, and, and most recently a, a talent came through as through Takanaka Gami on a, on a MotoGP bike and. I think that people need to realise that Suzuka and Daijiro Kato go hand in hand. He won four races around there, as mentioned before, in the 250cc class. Two around the Suzuka 8R race for, for HRC Honda. Daijiro Kato will never be forgotten. and it, It's been... Kind of nice to, to research him and, and learn things I didn't really know about him. I, I, I learned that he was quite famous for basically being asleep in in his pit box before qualifying. And he actually had to be woken up by his team to be like, okay, let's get a lap done here. So he seemed like quite a fun character. And I love the connection between him and Italy, especially with the road leading to the... Mizano circuit is actually named after Daijiro, so it's Daijiro Kato Way, basically, or street, and the walk to the circuit, which is a great tribute to him. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, sorry if it wasn't informative or if it hasn't brought anything new to you. It's just something I thought I would like to make. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, stick around for more content. Subscribe if you're new. Like our social media page pages there, linked in the description below, and I will catch you next time.